What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be talking about how you can get a custom fan curve on your computer for your graphics card to make it either ramp up faster, slower, make it quieter while playing games, or of course, just get more airflow over it to maintain better FPS as thermal throttling shouldn't be too much of an issue. If you'd like to customize how your fan works while you're playing games, that's exactly what this video will explain to you. In this video, we'll be showing you something that works for both AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards of any brand. The program we'll be talking about is MSI Afterburner. No, you don't need an MSI card to use the software. You can use it with anything. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and download MSI Afterburner if you haven't already got it on your computer. In the description down below, you'll find a download link. And upon clicking it, you should see a page that looks something like this. Simply click Download Afterburner at the very bottom and open up the zip file it downloads. Then we'll have an installer. Simply double click this, click yes when prompted for admin, and then click OK. Next, agree, next, 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 and finally install. Wait for this to complete. And if you had the Rivetrina statistics server ticked, which you should, it allows you to track FPS and things like that in game, you'll have an installer for that. Simply click OK and follow through with the installer here. Once again, agree and clicking next a whole bunch until you get the install button. And upon it completing, I'll uncheck show readme and click finish. Then here I'll uncheck show readme and have run MSI afterburner ticked if we don't want to launch it from the shortcut straight away. There we go. And you should see something similar to this. You may have a different skin if you downloaded it from a different website such as say EVGA, but you should see somewhere on the screen that you have statistics about your card and you should see your graphics cards name somewhere. If you have multiple graphics cards or you'd like to change the GUI, click the settings button wherever that might be. You can change the GPU here from the drop down on the general tab, but to change how the UI looks, you'll find it on the very last tab under user interface. The skin that I'm using currently is the default MSI Afterburner V3 skin. This is my favorite out of all of them. Once you click OK with the correct graphics card selected, we can now customize things. Note that this fan curve will only work while this program is open. At the very bottom, you'll see fan speed and it should be highlighted in green with the auto option ticked. I'll untick auto and we should then see the slider is now available to us to crank and play around with it as we please. Though changing this does absolutely nothing just yet. What we need to do is click the apply button for any changes we make to actually take effect. To actually customize our fan curve, we need to head into the settings menu over here and then to the fan tab, the second tab here. We'll have to make sure that this is enabled and we have an option to use firmware control mode, which should permanently save our graph to the graphics card as far as I understand. Maybe not. It just lets us pick from a couple of them already on it. Not too sure. Anyways, I'll be using software mode, so this will only set when I have MSI Afterburner running. It's super simple. At the very bottom, we have temperature, and at the left-hand side, we have the fan speed percentage. The absolute lowest that this gets is 40%, all the way up to about 30 degrees, where it starts to ramp up slowly. I can't seem to get this bubble to disappear, so you'll just have to bear with it. What we can do, however, is grab these existing points by clicking on them to select them, and then we can drag them around as we see fit to increase the graph's incline or decrease it, of course, to have it come up slower or come up faster to however you please. Usually you'll want something linear where it gets higher, the harder your graphics card gets, but of course you can adjust the maximum over here to say 80 instead of 90, so your graphics card will automatically use 100% fan power when it reaches 80 degrees if you don't like going above that. It may still go above that if you're hitting it really hard, but of course having 100% fan usage at 80 to try and keep it cool is a lot better than having say 90%. Anyways, this graph is free for you to mess around with. You can click anywhere to create extra points and adjust them to make illogical patterns if you so wish. You can do anything you want with this. When you want to remove points, simply select them by clicking on them and then press delete on your keyboard. There isn't a way to select multiple of these, so you'll just have to be accurate with how you're clicking. Usually I'll have something similar to this, where it runs quieter, but it ramps up pretty quickly the hotter it gets. Of course, you can have as many or as few points as you would like. And on top of this, if you're living in a really cold climate, you can, of course, drop the fan speed all the way down to a really low number when it's below, say, 30 degrees or something like that. Though I wouldn't really recommend it. You should always have some kind of airflow over it for parts that aren't being actively cooled as, as certain parts may not have temperature sensors on them, but may still benefit from cooling airflow. 
Besides that, we can choose to update the fan speed more often or less often, as well as a couple of other options here. For me though, I'll simply click apply and OK. If you can click the apply button, you should. However, if nothing changes, you'll see a user defined setting over here that you can tick or untick in order to choose whether we'd like our custom graph to be used or not. As far as I understand, when this is turned on, it'll use our fan curve defined in the fan tab. That being said, if it's software controlled, as soon as you close this application, your fan speed curve should no longer be active. That's probably good for you as you should only really have it open when you're gaming and you'd want the fan to run a lot harder to keep it cooler. You don't really want it going ape while you're working in Excel. So anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno over here at Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.